A lonely house sits abandoned at the west side of Thunder Mesa. It has been condemned by authorities and closed to public. Some say you can still see the owner's daughter taking a peek through one of the windows. The half-sunken house is a decadent memory of a much brighter past before the deaths and before the earthquake. Co-protagonist of Disneyland Paris' unique Haunted Mansion ride has been a mystery to all of us who have seen this strange manner. Who is she? What is her story? Who was she to marry? How did she die? Join us now here in Stories from the Mansion. How beautiful was my manor, with its resplendent architecture and its garden lined with roses. A true gem perched atop Boot Hill. Nothing was too beautiful for my father. Visitors came from everywhere to admire the marvel he had built. But today, what's left of all this? A house in ruins that is only a memory of a bygone era. And me? Me who is dying of loneliness as time passes and seems to have forgotten me. So said Melanie Ravenswood in her last days. Melanie Ravenswood was daughter of the richest family of Thunder Mesa. When she reached a certain age, she began to take interest in boys, and when news of a potential marriage reached Henry Ravenswood's ears, he became zealous. The idea of her precious daughter leaving his home, leaving a small town, it sounded horrible for him. He confronted her daughter, menaced her, and forbid her from seeing her suitors souring their relationship. In one tear-stained letter, melancholic Melanie writes to her father. She begrudgingly apologizes for her behavior. Melanie, being beautiful and rich, had many suitors, but only four made it to the nuptial preparatives. The first of them was Barry Claude, a rich oil tycoon. But alas, on wedding day, he died a most horrible death. Later, Melanie was courted by Sawyer Bottom, a sawmill operator who died a gruesome death at the hand of his house. Rowan D. Falls, captain of the Thunder Mesa Riverboat, who before the wedding died crushed by the force of some intense river falls and rocks. The last one, an acquaintance of Mr. Ravenswood himself, an explosives company owner, Ignatius Knight, who on wedding day died in his Melanie went depressed at such bizarre coincidences and thought herself cursed. Her father began to become more oppressive and dominating, making her even more distant now. She abandoned her usual routines and locked herself in a room. Afraid of a curse, she recurred to supernatural inquiries. During those days, a bandwagon had arrived from the east, promoting a medium, Madame Leota. Melanie consulted her, only to obtain grim prophecies for never occurring weddings and ghostly apparitions. At long last, she met a train engineer from which she would escape ill-fated Ravenswood Manor and go far away into the country. Secret preparatives were made, but Henry found out and, enraged, lured this man to the attic where he hung him. Melanie waited for him, and waited, and waited, but he never arrived. She remained dressed, ready for a wedding day, awaiting. His father laughed at her and said waiting was foolish. And so, when things couldn't be worse, a massive earthquake hit Thunder Mesa, killing Henry and Martha Ravenswood along with half of the population. Melanie lost her mind and remained in the house eternally waiting for her wedding to occur. So many years passed that people assumed she had died, but every now and then some would doubt when they would see her looking from the upstairs window while she gazed for her never arriving fiance. Her spirit eventually became mad, asking just any soul in the manor to marry her. The house caused such commotion amongst the Thunder Masons, much more since half the town lied sunken behind it, that they decided to close it due to strange apparitions and happenings. 
dreams. But you may ask yourself, if Melanie is a spirit, how did she die? Many think she killed herself by hanging herself in a tree, finding a way out of her grief. Others say she died old, alone, and lost inside the old house. Since the planning of the haunted mansion, brides have been a consistent theme, being the victims of a murderous master, or being the murderous mistresses themselves, they always come back from the dead to haunt the inhabitants. Yet Melanie works differently for the manor, for she does not haunt the house, but becomes haunted by it and its ghosts. Before refurbishment, Melanie helped the audience escape the phantom whose identity was unknown. After the remodeling, Melanie lost her mind bit by bit until becoming a deranged spirit would do anything to finally get married. Before the remodeling, she aged every time we saw her, until she became a skeleton bride, much like Mark Davis's aging bride or Miss April December, but now she appears the same age as when we can presume she died or killed herself. Before remodeling, her first interaction with us was welcoming and close, while after remodeling, her first interaction is cold, deranged, and distant. She no longer tries to help the audience, but just relieves her tragedy again and again. Stranded brides are a consistent theme in Gothic and Victorian literature. We've seen that with two of the other Haunted Mansion brides before. Miss Havisham, a resented stranded old spinster from Great Expectations, has a room decorated just as the wedding party she never attended saving even the putrid cake and wearing the wedding dress every single day. Another is the co-protagonist from Phantom of the Opera, who is also harassed by the Phantom and suffers the consequences of being around him. Before the remodeling took place, the Phantom was officially an ambiguous figure with no backstory. It was fans who created the popular theory that the Phantom was the controlling father of Melanie, and thus created the official backstory that would become canon. But even before that, there were other fan fictions about who could the Phantom be. One said it was the spirit of Thunder Mountain, who mad at the Ravenswoods for exploiting his sacred grounds, made their life miserable by creating an earthquake and then killing Melanie's groups. Another stated Arthur Ravenswood, that is, Henry's brother, wanted to end his brother's legacy by killing him and killing any potential husband of her niece, causing an explosion at the mine which thus caused the earthquake and then killed her niece's groom. The last theory states that a melancholic Melanie hires Madame Leota to reach her parents' spirits who died in the earthquake. However, Madame Leota accidentally summons a dark entity that takes the shape of a shadowy man who haunts Melanie and kills his suitor Jake during wedding night. Yet the wildest one says that Melanie, after losing her parents, develops a case of split personality, harboring his father in his mind a la Norman Bates, and knowing his father did not approve of her marrying, she kills his own betrothed without knowing. Melanie is part of a darker and more complete version of the Haunted Mansion, in an attraction that did indeed seek to create a story rather than an experience or a spirit retiring home. Her character is now officially tied to the manor and to Disneyland's Halloween experience and can be considered one of the Haunted Mansion brides. Phantom Manor and hence Melanie have garnered their own followers and gained a prominent spot in the Haunted Mansion fandom. But I'm curious, how do you think she died? Do you have your own theories? Let me know in the comment section. This has been all for now, but I'll be seeing you a little later.